The Samveda perceptively portrays the essence of an inspiration that directs one towards success when the inspiration has been derived from the revealers themselves. Taking a step forward from last year, we decided to add a new aspect of water purification to our eco-friendly Ganesha idol. With this intent, we chose to sculpture our idol from potassium aluminum sulfate, commonly known as alum, used for water purification. With an elated heart, a creative mind and a pious intention, the preparations for modeling our in-house Ganpati have begun. Sculpting commenced once the idol's outline was chalked out. Not even a single team member is neither familiar to the process nor the art of sculpting and that, for us, has been the most primitive challenge. The most consistent difficulty that worried us is that, in spite of placing the idol in an arid environment, it showed signs of being damp due to the effect of humidity in Mumbai. To transcend the odds that we had faced, Fuller's Earth, commonly known as Multani Mitti, has been applied. Progressively, various body parts of the idol have been chiseled out along with carving intricate details of the idol expressly. To prevent the atmospheric moisture getting absorbed by our idol, each night we would wrap the idol with tissue paper. Since alum doesn't permit blending of colors on it easily, post numerous unsuccessful attempts with food color, chalk pestles and acrylic, we figured out that only natural soy crayons would work. The accessories have been crafted of crepe and golden textured paper. The place for setting up our idol and the brick effect for the base have been created using fresh leaves, wood and crumpled paper. By the Atharva Veda, there is no chance of failure when something is done for the divine supremacy as it is the path of love and here we are with our priceless treasure of victory, a task well accomplished. <laughs> Tere 
महिमा सूही जान